I press return and two is the value of this expression. Now let's analyze the code a bit and then we'll look at the environment diagram. This says while f of x doesn't equal x, I will assign x to f of x. This is called a fixed point. When f of x is equal to x, that means the input is the same as the output of a function. So this tries to do assignment until we reach a fixed point and then it returns x. So we're hoping to reach a fixed point of this equation. Now if we put in 2, 2 plus 5 is 7, integer divide by 3, and you get 2, because 3 goes into 7 twice with 1 left over, which we discard. Okay, let's look at the computational machinery that arrives at that answer. So here's the code. I'll show you that in this system, you can have it discard the frames for functions that we don't need anymore, which will make this visualization much easier to follow. Okay, here we go. We bind repeat, we bind g, we call repeat on g and 7. g is the g function, so that gets passed in. We create a new frame. The formal parameter f is bound to this g function that we passed in. x is bound to 7. And then we call f of x to figure out whether it equals x or not. Now this call is this f calling this function, so we create a frame for that function y is bound to 7, 7 plus 5 is 12, divided by 3 is 4. So now uh, we notice that 4 is not the same as 7, so we have to compute that value again, because we called f of x twice. And uh, after returning 4, we're going to rebind x to 4. Okay, so now x is now 4, it used to be 7. We repeat the process calling f, which is a name for the g function, on the number 4 this time. We get a, a return value of 3. 3 is not the same as 4. So we rebind x to 3, which is f of x. All right, we do it again. So we call the function g on the input 3. We get back 2. Those aren't the same thing. So now x is 2. And finally, we call g on the 2 argument, that returns 2, we've reached a fixed point, and we're done.